हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस प्लानर ग्राफ्स ए ग्राफ जी इज सेट टू बी ए प्लानर ग्राफ इफ देयर एग्जिस्ट सम ज्योमेट्रिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ जी व्हिच कैन बी ड्रॉन ऑन ए प्लेन सच दैट नो टू ऑफ इट्स एजेस इंटरसेक्ट इट मींस इफ वी कैन ड्रॉ ए ग्राफ ऑन ए प्लेन सो दैट नो टू एजेस इंटरसेक्ट विद ईच अदर देन वी से द ग्राफ इज ए प्लानर ग्राफ फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू लुक एट दिस ग्राफ नो टू एजेस इंटरसेक्ट विद ईच अदर दैट्स व्हाई दिस ग्राफ इज ए प्लानर ग्राफ इफ आई इंसर्ट एन एज बिटवीन वी1 एंड वी4 say this edge is e6 these two edges e6 and e4 intersect with each other but we can draw a geometrical representation of this graph in such a way so that no edges no two edges intersect with each other look at this so this was the previous graph and e6 e6 can be drawn in this way now look at this graph here no two edges intersect with each other so we can say for this graph this graph is a complete graph of four, four vertices so for this graph we have a geometrical geometric representation where no two edges intersect with each other so we say this graph is a planar graph it means merely by inspection we cannot say whether a graph is a planar graph or not we have to go for various geometrical representations and check can we find a geometrical representation where no two edges intersect with each other look at this in the example if you simply see this figure you can see that e6 and e4 intersect with each other but you can draw a geometrical representation where no two edges intersect with each other only then you can say this graph is a planar graph now two important graphs these two graphs are non planar graphs kotowski a polish mathematician introduced these two graphs one is k5 complete graph of five vertices another is complete bipartite graph k3 3 so let us check whether the graph is planar or not so first we have to verify we try to find a geometrical representation without intersection of edges so let us try to draw all these edges without intersection of edges is it possible or not so check it so up to that point it's very easy now for this as we cannot draw this as so we will draw this as in this way now for the, these two edges we can draw this as in this way and in this way and for this as if we draw this as in this way intersection will be there if we draw this as in this way again the intersection will be there it means it is not possible to draw this as without intersection so this graph is a non planar graph similarly you can check for k33 now the important things about these two graphs is k5 is a non planar graph with minimum number of vertices and k33 is a non planar graph with minimum number of edges and for a given graph to check whether a graph is planar or not if you can prove that the given graph is isomorphic to either k5 or k33 then the graph is also non planar graph now reason in a planar graph a reason in a planar graph is characterized by a set of edges forming its boundary for example look at this this e1 e2 and e4 these three edges form this region say this region is r1 similarly this second region is r2 one another region which is the outsider region this is basically the infinite region is also there this is r3 so for each graph one infinite region will be there degree of a region is the number of edges forming its boundary so say degree look at this degree of r1 degree of r1 degree of r1 will be 3 degree of r1 will be 3 and degree of r2 this again this is 3 and degree of r3 look at this four regions are four uh, edges are there e1 e3 e5 and e2 that form the boundary of r3 so its degree is 4 the sum of degrees of all the regions equals twice the number of edges this is very easy to prove the statement because each edge each edge uh, lies on the boundary in uh, boundary of two regions for example even lies in the boundary of r3 and r1 so each edge lies on the boundary of two regions that's why if you calculate the sum of degrees of all the regions this will equal to twice the number of edges 
Now look at this. If you insert an another edge, say V5, say this edge is E6. Now in this region R3, this E6 is look at this. How can we form this boundary? You can form this boundary of R3, V1, E1, V3, E3, V4, E6, V5. Again E6, V4 because uh, this uh, edge E6. Uh, had two sides of uh, this region one is this and this one is another one so this e6 will be counted twice for the degree of region r3 so it means if you for this graph if you calculate the degree of r3 so this edge will be counted twice because we will form boundary in this way i told you v3 e3 v4 e6 v5 and v5 e6 v4 E5 in this way. So degree of R3 in this case will be 6 because this edge will be counted twice. In general, this pendant vertex and self loops and parallel edges, these have no meaning in checking planarity of a graph because all these things will increase the uh, number of edges or number of regions in the graph. So for checking the planarity of a graph, we can remove pendant vertices, self loops and parallel edges. We have to make the graph simple because these graphs, uh, because these things, uh, self loops, parallel edges and pendant vertices will not affect the planetary of graph. Now Euler's formula. This formula provides the number of regions in a graph. Let G be a connected planar graph with n vertices and E greater than 2 edges. Then the number of regions F is given by E minus n plus 2. Why E greater than 2? Because for E equal to 2 or less than 2, we cannot form a region. First verify this formula for this graph and then we will prove the theorem or formula. It, this graph has three regions R1, R2 and R3. Degree of R1 is 3. So here look at this E equal to number of edges equal to 5 N equal to 4. So if you calculate E minus N plus 2 E minus N plus 2 5 minus 4 plus 2 this equal to 3. So F equal to 3. So 3 regions are there. So this formula is used to calculate the number of regions using the number of edges and number of vertices. Now we prove this formula. Let G be a connected planar graph with n vertices and E greater than 2 edges. Here we are considering the simple graph as I told you. We can represent each region of a planar graph as a polygon and graph a polygon net. For example, I will take a simple example. Suppose look at this graph. This graph has three regions. So all these are here. This is a polygon with three sides. This is a polygon with four sides. One another outside region is there. So outside the region is there. And you can uh, just look at this, uh, its sides are this one, this one, this one, this one and this one. So let uh, F regions are there and KP denotes the number of P sided regions. KP denotes the number of P sided regions, means how many regions are there with P sides. If you look at this example, so here for this example K3 equal to 1, so number of three sided regions, so only one region, this region is there, so K3 equal to 1, similarly only one uh, region of four sides is there so k4 equal to 1 for outside region k5 outside region has four sides 1 2 3 4 5 so only one region is there now using the previous result the sum of degrees of all these regions equal to twice e you can write it 3 k3 e k3 is the number of regions having three sides so 3 k3 total degree of all these regions similarly total degree of all these regions having four sides so this sum is equal to twice e say this is equation number one and k3 k4 kr this equal to two. sum of all the regions this equal to f say this is equation number two here r is the maximum number of edges in any region now from the geometry we know that for a p sided polygon the sum of interior angles is equal to pi p minus two look at this if you say if you take this triangle uh, three sides are there, so put p equal to 3, 3 minus 2 equal to 1 pi. So sum of the interior angles of triangle, you know, this is 180, so equal to pi. So this is the sum of the interior angles given by pi p minus 2, sum of the exterior angles given by pi p plus 2. 
the sum of all the angles subtended at each vertex of a polygon with n vertices is 2 pi and it's very easy to check because at each vertex the total angle this is 2 pi so if n vertices are there the sum of all these angles will be 2 pi n. now we will utilize these three facts to prove the theorem basically what we are trying to do uh, let the planar graph uh, is denoted as a, uh, uh, the planar graph is uh, drawn on a plane with polygons and the complete as a polygon net for example look at this so what we will try to do we will find the sum of the interior angles interior angles means these angles this angle is n sum of exterior angles and if you find the total sum this will equal to 2 pi n so look at this how can we do it let the outer polygon making an infinite region has q sides for example i have taken this graph look at this so here i am taking the example of q equal to 5 so this is the 5 the sum of angles subtended at each vertex of a polygon net with n vertices is pi q plus 2 look at this this is the outside it region so if you considering this outside it region now sum of these exterior angles sum of these exterior angles how can we calculate it we can consider this as a polygon with q sides and we know that the sum of the exterior angles of a polygon with q sides is given by pi q plus 2 so this is the sum of all these exterior angles now from this point to this point this is the sum of interior angles of polygons different polygons so this is the sum of interior angles of three sided polygons sum of interior angles of uh, four sided polygons and similarly up to r so look at this is the sum of these three sided polygons means sum of these angles four sided means sum of these angles now one another thing is there in this sum because one region is the outsided region outsided region means this region but in this sum because this sum is from geometry and this sum gives you the sum of the interior angles of uh, p sided polygon based on this uh, formula we have calculated all this so one region is outside it region and outside it region has q sides so in this sum the sum of interior angles of q sided regions is also there sum of angles of q sided because the outside it region is there and the outside it region has q sides and this formula this formula gives you the interior sum of the interior angles of uh, p sided regions here p equal to q because the outside it region has q sides so this sum is already there it means while calculating the different uh, poly, uh, polygons we have calculated this sum this sum this sum this sum and for example this sum this sum but considering this outsider region as a poly polygon of q sided we have again calculated these it means these angles calculated again in this sum from here to here so it means now we have to remove the additional quantity so this additional quantity is the sum of interior angles we have to remove this this is basically the sum of the interior angles of q sided polygon so this is given by pi q minus 2 and that's why we have eliminated this minus minus pi q minus 2 why again i am saying because in this sum one reason is outside it reason so for all these reasons first reason second reason we have calculated these sums already these sums now for this outside it region outside it region is basically the outside it region is this one but if you, we are using this formula it means this will give you the sum of interior angles of q sided or q sided polygon so it means this sum this sum is calculated two times in this sum that's why we have eliminated this sum from uh, this sum so simplify this expression we will get from this to this this is the same thing if you simplify this pi q plus 2 pi here minus pi q plus 2 pi so pi q will be eliminated so this is 4 pi so now put all these first terms here and the second terms here and look at this using the previous two uh, formulae this equal to twice e and this equal to f 
so this expression becomes this one this is the sum of angles subtended at each vertex and we know that this sum is equal to 2 pi n so put this expression equal to 2 pi n and simplify it you will get f equal to e minus n plus 2 so in this way we can prove this result now two corollaries in a simple connected planar graph with n vertices e greater than 2 and f regions e is greater than or equal to 3 by 2 f. it's very simple to prove now you know that the minimum number of uh, edges that form a boundary of a region is 3. So less than, with less than 3 you cannot form a boundary. So 3 is the minimum degree of any region. If f regions are there and if f regions are there so the minimum degree of these regions will be 3 f and you know the sum of the degrees equal to twice E, so the maximum degree will be twice E. Sum of degrees of all the regions this equal to twice E. So this is the maximum. This one is the minimum. So you can write it 3F is less than or equal to twice E. So if you simplify it, you can write it F E is greater than, you can write it F is uh, less than or equal to, we have to uh, find the result in the form of E greater than or equal to 3 by 2. So simplify this just eliminate it write it e is greater than or equal to 3 by 2 f so this one is the first inequality now for the second one we will utilize this formula f equal to e minus n plus 2 so if you write f equal to e minus n plus 2 and you know that from here we know that f is less than or equal to 2 by 3 so you can write from here e minus n plus 2 this equal to f and f is less than equal to 2 by 3 e so further simplify it 3 e minus 3 n plus 6 less than equal to twice e so put twice e here then you will get e is less than equal to 3 n minus 6 so this one is the second one inequality so in this way you can prove these two inequalities so what is the use of these inequalities whenever we have to check whether a graph is a planar graph or not first thing which we have to do is to make it a simple graph it means remove all the pendant vertices self loops and parallel edges then check for these two results if these two results are true then you can say the graph is a planar graph so this is the formula without any uh, tracing or without finding any geometrical representation. So with the help of these two inequalities, you can check whether the graph is a planar graph or not. So I hope that you got the concept of planar graph and the proof of Euler's theorem and checking the planetary of a graph.